take you to the Val Triangle, where ArcelorMittal is to conduct a priority investigation into the deaths of three workers at its Funderbell Park plant. But the trade union NUMSA wants government to investigate the incident rather, saying it doesn't trust the company. It says the accident could have been avoided as the plant is old and unstable. The workers died when a coke battery stack collapsed onto a control room. ENCA's Govan Whittles is on that story for Thursday lunchtime. Govan, good afternoon to you. Before we get to NUMSA, is there any clarity, first of all, uh, or any further clarity as to what happened today? No clarity as yet as to what caused that uh, explosion which led to the collapse that fell then on the coke uh, or the control room. Um, but we are expecting some information from the company in a few days. A short update from them this afternoon saying that uh, the police have removed the bodies of the three workers um, once they had been recovered um, in the control room. They've now left the plant works and also confirming that the family members of the deceased who have not yet been named um, have been called onto the site and are currently meeting with the human resources uh, department of the company to finalize their support and also clarify what will happen here but still a lot of outrage particularly among labor unions and with me now i have the national health coordinator for the Associated Metal Workers and Construction Union, Associated Mine Workers and Construction Union, AMCO. They represent about 30% of the workers at this specific plant, the Fenerbahce Works plant. Um, but let's speak to them now. It's Matthew, uh, Matthew Grant. Thank you so much, Mr. Grant, for your time. First of all, uh, one of the workers that died is a member of AMCO. Just tell me uh, how you guys find out and what do you think of what happened here? Well, thank you. Um, we found out, I met, I've just come from meeting with the families and our deepest uh, sympathies and condolences go out to them and all of the, their comrades here. We are outraged and angered when anything like this happens. But yes, one of our members is amongst the deceased. And um, unfortunately, the rescue turned into a recovery operation and the investigation will be unfolding. But we still don't exactly know what caused this tragic accident. What we do and have been receiving reports that there were some um, s severe safety um, overlooks at this, uh, at this particular plant. So we need to, to, to crack into what actually happened. But the large stack that actually descended was uh, early in the morning and it just sort of failed. So we're not quite sure at this point whether it's an explosion, whether it's a maintenance issue. So at the moment there's, there's a lot of questions to be answered. There have been questions raised about the structural integrity of the building because of its age, but you say there have been concerns raised um, about the way that the safety protocols were, were being observed or what exactly were those concerns and are they related to the, the age of the building or specific protocols that weren't adhered to? Well, in any steelworks plant, it's a dangerous envi working environment. There are a whole lot of protocols that need to be in place, and there have been a number of concerns raised from both or all of the unions here, really, of safety incidents in the past. So are we, are we looking at a systemic issue here? We don't know. Is it a one-time sort of problem? We don't know. Is the current site safe enough to continue the work? That is also being assessed. But our stance is there can be no work continuing here until it's actually declared safe but it's a it's a battery so it needs to be kept idling at a certain temperature so there are certain instances however the department of labor has been here they have issued a prohibition notice and we will be waiting for the um the other inspectors that need to come and assess but the internal investigation is is currently ongoing you said that you also spoke to the families after speaking uh, after being inside could you just uh, take us through some of the uh, sentiments that were expressed without, of course, uh, revealing some of the confidential aspects. Certainly. Um, the families are obviously extremely distressed at this uh, occurrence. Um, they're busy dealing with all of the administrative sort of issues, but the family is clearly distraught. It's quite something that has happened. They are busy dealing with um, handling of the remains and all of the other issues that need to be handled. The, the meeting has just, I've just left it and uh, the finer details are being um, conveyed, but the family is also quite angry. All of the families are also quite angry that this has occurred. Uh, every workplace is supposed to be safe. This is never supposed to happen. And we do know it does, but this is something we need to actually really address. All right, what does AMCO want to happen now? What we want is a full-scale investigation to happen. It should be independent. The Department of Labor obviously should be involved. It should actually dig deep into the, the, the root causes of this. 
But those are all immediate instances. What AMCO is really looking for is how well does the Occupational Health and Safety Act deal with these matters? What is it saying about prosecution? Those kinds of elements need to be changed. We need to send bosses to jail for these kinds of things. Who was in charge of maintenance for this? Who was in charge of ensuring that workers didn't die? All of those things, their responsibility is set in the Act. And if the Act can't deliver, we were, we're really calling on the government and all unions involved in, in, in actual fact to lobby for these um, these acts to become something that have teeth, actually. We've seen the failures in the Mine Health and Safety Act. We're sealing certain failures in the Occupational Health and Safety Act. All right, I think we'll have to leave it there for now. That's Matthew Grant. He's the National Health Coordinator for AMCO. Jeremy, it's back to you. Governor Whittles at uh, the ArcelorMittal plant in Thunderbale Park. To the